Um, good afternoon. Just on a uh, starting note, um, press conference is going to be a little bit quicker today because I need to take a flight to Auckland and to the US obviously tonight. So I'm going to try and get out of here by 3 o'clock if I possibly can. Um, uh, in terms of the US, it's fair to say that trade and economic issues will dominate the visit to the United States. Beside the two days in Washington DC, I'm taking the opportunity while on the West Coast to meet with Google and Facebook executives, executives from Warner Brothers and New Line and the Mayor of San Francisco, Mr. Ed Lee. Uh, from New Zealand's point of view, we want to cement the gains made in terms of the relationship between the two countries over the past few years. I want to take the opportunity to canvass the US economic outlook, both with President Obama and other key uh, individuals such as the Federal Reserve Chair Ben Bernanke and Treasury Secretary uh, Tim Geithner. On the trade front, obtaining a high quality trade deal through a successful outcome of the TPP is very important to us. Momentum with trade talks is vital and I'll certainly be using the visit to ensure that the impetus that we have on TPP uh, is maintained. Uh, I'm also sure that one of the other issues that will be discussed is Afghanistan and on that note I have some news. As I previously said, uh, where it is in the public interest and where the SAS are involved in events of public note, I will be commenting in a general sense on their operations. Um, however, I continue to point out that I'm not going uh, to go deeply into operational details that may endanger the security of the troops involved or provide information that may compromise their effectiveness. Just after 8am this morning, uh, I was advised that the New Zealand SAS members were involved in a mentoring role in a developing incident in Kabul invo involving an insur insurgent attack in an urban area of the city. At the end of the operation, their involvement moved to an operational role, uh, providing support as required. I'm not going to go into the exact details of that support, uh, but it's been widely reported uh, that Yam Mamahan Khan, an advisor to President Karzai, um, has been killed along with one other person. I've been advised that the operation has concluded and New Zealand personnel have returned to their base. We understand one Afghan security force member was killed in action during the event, another was seriously injured, and our, of course our sympathies go out to the families of those uh, police officers. No New Zealanders uh, were injured in the operation. Two insurgents have been confirmed dead as a result of the operation. Uh, I'm not able to release any further operational information, so I'm not intending to make any other further comments at this stage. Just in terms of upcoming events, on Wednesday, Social Development Minister Paula Bennett will be releasing an update on Fresh Start uh, Youth uh, Justice Reforms. These reforms were designed to intervene in the lives of the country's most serious repeat young offenders. Uh, I announced the Fresh Start Reforms in 2009, and we have invested 152 million in this area. This is a particularly tough group to tackle. They have entrenched criminal histories and behavioural issues. I'm not uh, willing to leave them behind, and that's why the government is focused on turning as many of these kids around as we can. <clears throat> the report will give you a sense of how the early stages of these reforms are progressing. Uh, Paula Bennett will release it and will be available to talk to you on Wednesday. Another thing I'd like to flag uh, today is Paul Bennett's upcoming release of the Green Paper on Children. Um, as you may be aware, this document is the first stage of a process to shape the country's overarching plan for children in this country. Uh, the Green Paper will raise issues and ask for feedback from New Zealanders about how they feel about certain approaches to looking after our kids. Uh, Paul Bennett believes the paper will start a debate about how we nurture and care for our children and she is keen to hear the views of New Zealanders. Uh, this is about putting children at the forefront of government policy and actions and have a special focus on the most vulnerable children. Um, she intends to release the paper on July 27th at a public forum uh, in Auckland. Questions?